How's it going my truant people, Dr. Slacking the Slacking Doctor back with week 6 I believe of the EWT and this week we are going up against my man Goki Gamer and his Milwaukee Medichams I'm pretty sure. Uh, his link will be down in the description as has everybody else has been all season. Go and check him out, uh, he's a pretty cool guy and he's much more energetic, much more hype in his videos than I am so if sometimes you watch my videos you're like this guy, I wish he had a little bit more energy, go and check him out, he's definitely worth looking at. Now, uh, I am recording this a long time after my last game because basically I haven't even played Uzi for week five yet um, and I played mid I think relatively early in the week we were supposed to play maybe I don't remember no we played on the Saturday still it feels like a long time it's been like two weeks since we played uh, it's Friday night I finished work I'm knackered um, and to be perfectly honest with you guys because I don't know the result against Uzi yet I don't know if we have a shot at playoffs or not at this point uh, we would have to win our last three games to even have a shot and then it's not clear cut It'll probably come down as differential and our differential isn't great. So with all that being said I am just trying to take this easy. I am just trying to have some fun So we're bringing some heat. We're bringing some heat sets. We have physical toxicity in this game uh, We have scarf mandibuzz in this game uh, it's not like super me me, but we've got a couple of heat sets. We've also got like King's Rock Cloister to just be obnoxious. So I'm not going to pretend like we are memeing this game. We're not, but we're bringing some fun stuff. Uh, Mandibuzz has a role. He has a, he has a Mimikyu. So like Scarf Mandibuzz can take the Shadow Sneak and then destroy with foul play. So it's not like complete memes and it's not like completely serious either. I just want to have some fun and freshen it up. I apologize that uh, at the end of some of my other videos this season, I've been very reflective. Some of you, I think, enjoy the analysis, enjoy me going back over it, uh, but I never want it to seem kind of salty or bitter or anything like that. Uh, I just want to improve. So for those of you that have been following the OU lives, you'll know that I've been on a journey on the OU ladder to try and get my mojo back with Pokemon. Uh, something just happened after the UBL season finished where I just felt super just off the pace and whatever. I've been playing better recently. My game has been better in draft league games. The OU laddering definitely has helped just freshen me back up, shake off that rust. So we're here to have some fun. I'm not going to be bitching this time. I'm just going to be enjoying it. Maybe playing well, maybe playing badly, maybe winning, maybe losing. It doesn't really matter. This is just a game to enjoy. So I'm going to make a cut here, guys, and I'll be back with the game. So here we are, guys, back in the battle. It's been a bit of a mad one. Uh, we've had uh, about half an hour since I recorded that little, 40 minutes in fact, since I recorded that little intro bit. Uh, he had a team builder thing and then I had some issues, but we're here. So, um, let's have a look at what my opponent brought. I am so unprepared now with everything that's happened since then, but regardless, let's get this sorted. So, he's got a gal. I don't remember his draft at all. Like, he could have brought a completely legal draft and I, I wouldn't know. Um, I built this team, like, a week or two ago at work. So, um, okay, how am I supposed to deal with Diggersby? Okay. Um, did I prep anything on this team for anything? Um, see if I... Oh, man, this is going to be tricky. Ferrothorn, uh, Mushana, and uh, Grap blocked. I also don't have... Okay, right, fine. Fine, I'm not going to question my team building from the past. So, uh, we have Boots, Sticky Web, Raconid, uh, King's Rock, Shell Smash, Cloyster, Scarf, Mandibuzz, uh, Colbert, Rotom, uh, Life Orb Terrac and Black Sludge Toxtricity. So in terms of leads, if he wants to lead with a Sash lead, I probably want to be able to get something from that. Um, I think Rotom looks like a good lead to um, Volt Switch around. I don't think I have Volt Switch, but I do have a uh, Defog, so I can Defog off the webs immediately. I don't want to be webbed up on. I want to get my own webs up at some point in this game. Have I definitely brought the right team? Yeah, because he's got the Ferrothorn. Um, he doesn't. He hasn't brought his Rain Setter. That's really interesting because my um, Toxtricity is packing Fire Punch for the Ferrothorn. <laughs> I'm Technician, Power Up Punch, Fire Punch, uh, which is is pretty spicy. So um, I hope he got his team in, in time because it's looking like he might not have done. Um, usually I would kind of say, well, if you didn't get it in in time, you've got the team that it also puts in for you. Um, but as this isn't the most serious game in the world, with chances are both of us not really making playoffs, I, I won't be like that in this one. Um, although, it does worry me that there's literally nothing happening. Oh. Again? No, my internet's fine.
All right, guys, so we're back again. It's been one problem after another tonight. Um, the land server looks solid, so I don't think it's that. I really know what it is. I kind of regret leading off with uh, Rotom with hindsight. Like, I really was thinking it had a vault switch when I initially made the call. It is what it is. Might as well commit to it. Obviously, we both know our team. Um, apparently, he got a little bit further than me. Apparently, he got to see the trainer cards. I've updated my trainer card. Look, I think it's looking good. I think it's looking pretty fresh. I quite like my new trainer card. I think it looks decent. Uh, his looks fresh too. Obviously, gotta to compliment the opponents. I'm not that narcissistic, but mine looks real fresh. <laughs> now nah, I spent a bit of time doing it the other day when I was bored. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna update my trainer card and maybe just um, I don't know, make it look a bit different. And because what I wanted was this, right? We always battle in the fairy stadium, and I never knew why. I was like, why are we always in the fairy stadium? And then I found out that you can choose which stadium you play in. All you have to do is um, change your trainer card because your stadium will match the background of your trainer card because i was like frosted always battles in that ice stadium how does that happen um so yeah that was just a uh, uh, something i didn't know um that i liked doing so i like the grass stadium um there's no real reason that i, I knew you need to be in it i just like it and i haven't been talking about my place i wanted to burn the ferrothorn if i could uh a burn's not bad on anything else if he wants to switch out so um, he does synchronize and burn me. I don't need to be burned. I'm not foul play on this set, so don't really care. Um, no idea what kind of a set this will be, but uh, it's not bad to get some chip off on it. This thing's still useful for Diggers B, which I'm guessing why I brought this. Um, although I can't touch Diggers B. <laughs> Great. Um, I could go into Mandibuzz. I think this thing gets knockoff. I don't really want to deal with that. Uh, I'm going to get my webs up early. I'm going to go straight into uh, Jules Vern here, get the webs up. Uh, I have water absorb on this. I'm guessing he has like uh, some sort of offensive water on his team that he hasn't brought here. But uh, as he makes a double out into uh, this thing. All right. Big double. Big, big double. Nice play. I'm going to stay in, I think. I don't super need this for anything. I'm not that afraid of quillfish. So uh, I'm going to get them up early. Um, if he wants to exchange hazards with me here. I think my webs are more valuable to me than any hazard he could set up against me is to him. So, yeah, let's just uh, get that kind of early pressure on by getting those hazards down. It means my toxicity will outspeed most things on his team, I would think, even without any investment, which is nice. Um, let's have a look. Diggers B, choice band. Level 50. As he knocks off my heavy duty boots, don't mind too much about that. Um, and now I can go, do you think it, nah, it won't kill, will it? Um, what can I do to him? I can leech life. Let's see if he's fizz dev or not. Let's see if he's fizz dev or not. Let's see if he's got an item in case he's like chopal berry or something. I don't want to just go hard into my terrakion. All right. That did a decent amount. That did a decent amount, honestly. I never even got to check the diggers with speed. I got distracted. Um, do you see a rocky helmet? Nope, no Rocky Helmet as he toxics me here. Okay. Um, so we've leached back uh, 19 to 20. Uh, uh, did we do? Oh, it's leftovers. Okay, interesting. What do you think we did? About 20%? I think he's probably... I mean, apparently even Fizz Death would do... No, I, th I think we did more than 20%. I think we did about 25 maybe before. Um, so I think he's not Fizz Death. I am going to pivot out because this thing's still kind of useful. Uh, do I think he knocks off again? He could knock off again. That would give me a attack boost on Lancaster. But if he goes for... I don't want to lose... Actually, he didn't bring the Mimikyu, so I really don't need Scarf Mandibuzz, right? Like, what is Scarf Mandibuzz good for? Absolutely nothing. Um, wow, it's horrible, in fact. So, let's hope he knocks us off. Yeah, let's hope he knocks us off. That would be superb. I actually should have gone into uh, this on the Mishana earlier and then it could have knocked me off. That would have been nice. Um, I don't think I have Roost even, so we're just taking Rock's Chip as well, which I just thought about. As he does Power Whip, and we do Dodge. Oh, imagine if I had gone to Rakion. Uh, that would have been a very silly play, though. So, um, he should click the knockoff here. I don't see, think there's any reason not to, which means that I can knock him off. Take the knockoff and then you turn out. Uh, I don't have Roost. I really should have brought Roost in case I got knocked off. That would have been a good set. But we weren't doing good sets today. We were doing stupid sets. Um, and this is what we have. Okay, he actually goes out into this. Alright, well, I'll, I'll take a knockoff on this. That's fine. Um, obviously, get slowed down by the sticky web. We get intimidated. We weren't doing any damage and knockoff anyway. 
Um, Terrakion's looking primed and ready as well here. Um, if we land our stone edges, which I've now jinxed. We always land our stone edges, not to worry. We actually had Quillfish early in the season. This was our old mon, Spiegel, uh, but we dropped him. So, I'm going to go hard Thundercat. Um, I don't know if this thing wants to try and hazard up, if it wants to try and toxic me. Um, I really don't know what it wants to do here, but I'm going to go hard Thundercat because I want to put on some offensive pressure, and right now I am not doing that. So let's go into um, our electric type on his water type. It's very simple maths here that I'm going through. Um, we've got Black Sludge, so we'll get a bit of recovery as he goes for the Destiny Bond on the Mandibuzz. Alright, he's obviously fearing like an offensive Brave Bird. He maybe calced that knockoff and saw that I um, am like quite offensive <laughs> because I'm stupid. Uh, we'll sub up here. Um, or maybe he's just making that play so that he can guarantee a hazard this turn on my faster toxicity. Little does he know my toxicity is slower than him. Um, so that wouldn't work anyway unless he's minus speed. Uh, but I'm just going to go for the sub here as he goes to liquidation. Oh, we should chew this up, I think. And by chew it up, I mean take a fuckload and get defense dropped. Holy moly! That's not what I wanted. I didn't think he'd stay in. Why did he stay in? Huh? Why is he also faster than me even with a web up? Really? Um, I know I was just saying he'd be faster than me, but I hadn't factored in the webs. You know, this is where if you do good team building, you make sure you're faster. Um, how fucking fast is he, though? Uh, he doesn't need that much speed investment. Uh, nah, he does. He needs to be, like, jolly. He's, like, jolly. Okay. Um, I'm obviously going to thunder punch the shit out of him here because I don't like this. This wasn't supposed to go this way. Ah, and now he switches. He's an insane man. He's insane. That's what we've established here. Um, okay, here's what we do. We uh, power up punch. We could just fire punch and take a KO, I think. Um, as we... As we parrot him. You love it. You love it. Um, Thorn. I don't think he's Fizz Death. I think a Fire Punch is going to fucking demolish him. Should do 70 to 80. Ah, maybe the Parrot Punch is better on the off chance he stays. But yeah, we'll go for the Parrot Punch because I don't think we're killing with the Fire Punch here. Um... So this way, if he stays paralyzed or can't break our sub or something, um, we are at plus one on the next thing that comes into Revenge Killers. Or if he tries to pivot around this, we're at plus one on the next thing that comes in anyway. So this wasn't supposed to go this way. He wasn't supposed to... Right. Okay, he's brought some <laughs> He's brought some heat sets too. Uh, I'm at plus one. He's at plus two. Uh, what does that mean for my fire punch? It does demolish him. I wish I was Drain Punch. I nearly brought Drain Punch over Fire Punch. Um, it should kill. It should, does 51 min. I think it's going to kill. Uh, I'm going to click it. Man, I wish I was... Uh, man, I wish I was... Because uh, I think Knock Off will break my summon. I think he'll knock off this turn. Oh, he's got some Fizz Death. I thought he was just going to be Max for Death. I should have Power Punched again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't question it. See? Don't question it. Now we get a free Power up Punch. And we're at plus two behind a sub. Man, I wish I'd been Drain Punch. I was like, nah, I'll bring Fire Punch. It does more. Oh, if I'd been Drain Punch, this would be a sweet position. Never mind. We can still Power Up Punch. We get to plus two. Then he has to bring something in to break my sub. Technician Toxtricity. Putting in the work. Also, he kind of kicks instead of punches, but we'll ignore that. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we've brought a physical Technician Toxtricity. And we're at plus two behind a sub. And we probably still can't fucking touch half his team. Let's have a look. So, the Ferrothorn goes down. Um, I know that the Quillfish is fast, so I'm going to make a note. I haven't been making very detailed notes in my other games, so I'm trying to uh, like upgrade my notes. Now, he should go Garvantula and Bug Buzz if he has it, and it will kill me through my sub, I think, because I've taken so much fucking chip. <sighs> because I didn't think he would have Iron Defense, so we should have taken like two rounds less of Iron Barbs than we did, I think. Two? No, one. Nah, it probably still wouldn't have been great. Um, he might not have Bug Buzz, though. Box Boy. What's Box Boy? That That's not uh, the other thing. So, that's good. That means I get two Thunder Punches off into this thing. 
and there's no reason for me to power up punch because everything else that speeds me and he is going to break my sub here. So, yes, I'm going to thunder punch twice uh, as he sucker punches. Good play. Um, we'll get some big damage off here as he reveals to be life orb. Nice, nice, nice. We do get some big damage off here. Uh, I don't know if we can sub, but fuck it. I'm going to try and stall out a Sucker Punch if I can. Um, if I get a sub, I get a sub. I didn't even look at how much HP we had. As he doesn't let us have the free sub. Good play. Good play, good play. But he is taking Life Orb Chip, so that's something. If only we had Quick Attack here, that would be the real tech. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to play some games. If I get it wrong, I get it wrong. <laughs> I'm going to play some games here. Alright, I get it wrong. He just ice punched twice. <laughs> Fair play to him. I guess it didn't matter from his perspective. He revenge killed me with anything anyway. Um, I was sure he would go for at least one sucker punch on the sub play, but he didn't. So, Fair play to him. Um... Why did my Mandibus not take any rock ship? Oh, I guess he never got rocks up. I'm dumb. Uh, we'll go Mandibus here. If we take nothing from a Sucker Punch, I don't want my Terrakion getting needlessly whittled down. Um, okay, so... Um, I don't think U-turn kills, I'll be honest with you. And he has no Brave Bird resists. He also has no knockoff resists, apart from this, but this would die to that. Now I'm going to Brave Bird, fuck it, because if he goes Cruel Fish, it does more. So, Brave Bird it is. That's fine. Imagine if we could position for a Scarf Mandibus sweep. That would be incredible. <laughs> After I tried getting it knocked off. Alright, so that goes down. So, he doesn't have rocks now. So, this thing actually keeps his health at full, which is nice. Uh, I think he has to go probably Galvantula. Um... Yep, he goes Galvantula. Um, now, I do outspeed him, and I could just Brave Bird. Uh, or I could sack Vern, go into Lancaster, but if he's Sash, that's not very good. Nah, I'm just going to Brave Bird. Yeah, I'm just going to Brave Bird. <laughs> I don't know if we take one, probably not. We're not, we've got not any HP investment. We're not this is the stupidest team I've ever built. And I've built some stupid teams. <laughs> But Scarf Mandy doing a lot. Go on, click sticky web. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Miss, miss, fuck, fuck, we're dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, the dreams of the Mandibus sweep are gone. Um, I could have sacked the uh, the um, blah, 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 spider, but uh, if he was Sash, then Terrakion wouldn't have revenge killed, and we would have had to land whatever, and I didn't want to do that. So, um... I'm pretty sure Rotom will outspeed and I think will kill with a discharge. Although I don't have any special attack investment. So before I really say that, let me think here. Galvantula, Life Orb. Discharge is 22 to 26. I'm pretty sure he was lower than that. Um, I can't lose the Scarf Diggersby with Rock Serp. Yeah, this is fine. See, I think he's lower than 25. And if he goes into hard into Diggersby, I get to Will-O-Wisp him. I could have just gone Terrakion and CC'd. Why didn't I do that? What? Why didn't I do that again? I don't know. I didn't. That's why. <laughs> I don't know. What was my reason? I don't fucking know. I think this kill is kill for Rotom. That's what matters here. Yes! Go on, Bosh! I think it's his first kill of the season. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Mandibus and Rotom MVPs. and <laughs> Physical fucking toxicity. Right, good. Here we go. We've got some flames going. Um, what does he go into now? Does Rotom just win? No, he has to go into the Mushanery thing. He goes into Diggersby thing. I want to burn the shit out of you, my friend. Uh, I want to burn the hell out of you. Do I lose to Mushana? Do I have anything for Mushana? I have nothing for Mushana. Why? Why did I build nothing for Mushana? What was my thinking there? Do I have something in the back that I'm forgetting? I have Cloyster, I guess. I just shell smash up. But what do I shell smash up on? This thing? I could definitely shell smash up on this thing. Ooh. 
I also have leech life on the uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> but I could show smash up on this now and sweep, I think. So, with that in mind, I am going to click uh, discharge until he knocks me out. If he goes for a sword stance here, it's really loose, but it'd have to be like sword stance agility and do it a lot of times. Um, yes! <laughs> that made me look far better than I am. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was, uh, I don't know what he was expecting, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. But uh, Bosch is here, Bosch is now. I really wanted to shell smash on that thing though, that's sad. Poor old Cloyster not getting to do anything. Alright, so... Uh, Diggersby's burnt, and uh, Quillfish is dead. That leaves Owen Garvantula's dead. I think he's down to his last two, right? Diggersby, Mishana, right? Question mark? Question mark. Dreamer. Dreamer comes out. Um, I'm going to pain split first turn because, like, why, why wouldn't I? That's just a solid play. Uh, I wish I had Volt Switch instead of Defog right now, but I'm a fool and I thought he has a Ferrothorn Thought and a Quillfish. I need to be prepared for hazards. Um, so let's see, if we get a Pain Split off here, it means we still wall Diggersby in the end game, so we don't have to worry about any Diggersby shenanigans. Um, although I think we do that anyway. Um, oh my god, that does so much. Alright, I'm going to Pain Split again. Th this, I know this is Storly, but that's really my play, is to Pain Split him down until he kills me. I don't know if Cloyster can Shell Smash up on this thing. What's this thing called? Uh, what's your name? You're a uh, Mushan. Technically, like, differential could matter, and I should probably make intelligent plays around differential, but, like, I don't want to. I want to have fun. That's what we were here for today. Psychic could kill if he's invested, and, like, he looks like he's pretty invested, so I don't know on that one. I don't know on that one if we can show smash on this thing or not. Sad times, because I wanted to bait the thumbnail, shell smash, sweep, thumbnail. I wanted to flinch everything and be like, haha, King's Rock. Ooh. That's interesting. Now I need this thing. Now I can't be stupid, because Diggersby's a threat. So, um, ah, I still have to racky on. Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm going to go hard into a Raquinid. Uh, wait, that's a horrible play. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna Willowisp in case he goes into the Diggersby. I want to burn the Diggersby on a switch in. I don't want to pain split here. If he kills me, good. Uh, then I can go into uh, Cloister and try shell smashing. Oh, didn't want to see that. Didn't want to see that. Alright, I've got to try and get Cloister in on a safe turn somewhere. Is it here? Do you think he heal bells here? I don't know if he heal bells here. Oh, we're playing the long game now. We're playing the long game. I could just go hard into the Araquanid and Leech Life. I might do that. Because Araquanid's got crazy spadef. I'm going to do it. Araquanid's got crazy spadef. If he goes Diggersby, he can't, like, agility up on me or anything like that, so... It's fine, I would have liked this thing healthier for the Diggersby, but I don't think Diggersby can win when we've got Terrakion um, there to click a CC under webs. Even if you Scarf, Diggersby, it's not going to help. So, um, he does Psychic this turn, glad I didn't go Cloyster. Um, I think my play is just a Leech Life into um, Liquidation. Yeah, that's my safest play, because I can't risk Cloyster not living a Psychic here. So, um, I'm going to Leech Life. I, like, I want to sack this and go closer for the memes and be like, Shell Smash Sweet, but we, 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 you know, we're having fun, but we're still trying to win. So, uh, my best play is absolutely to Liquidation here. I should have gone into the Araquanid sooner, um, but uh, it's kind of two things. One, I didn't want to make the kind of like try-hard differential play, which this could be. Uh, and two, I didn't want to make, um, I wanted to get the, the, the close to Sweet, in case you hadn't noticed. I was, I really wanted it. Alright, so this thing should take a huge amount from this. Um, it can it can then revenge kill me, so I have to be careful. So I have to be careful here, because if this thing dies, he could potentially win with Mashana, as we've already seen. So I have to now preserve this thing. I have to play careful here, guys. We're having to actually be rational human beings, which you may not have noticed I'm not the best person at. 
Um, so we'll go into the Rotom. It's actually a threat. It's actually like we're actually having to be careful, but we we uh, should be okay still. So it goes for the Wild Charge. Yeah, couldn't stay in on that. Uh, if I die to the burn here, um, does Cloyster take a Wild Charge from Diggersby? Diggersby. Um, I doubt it, right? Wild Charge. If he's banded Adamant, it's we have a 62% chance to die. So, assuming he's not banded Adamant, uh, we should live this. We don't then have Ice Shard, so he if he has Quick Attack, he'll kill me afterwards. Um, but if he's Scarf, which seems more likely, um, then we uh, will be fine and we'll win. So, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I don't think... Uh, we should be able to lose now because if this goes down, I can still we could still lose. We could still lose. I have to I'd have to go into Trachyon. We could still lose. This, this isn't going to be easy because that Mushana could. It's all about landing Stone Edges and stuff, which is not ideal. Um, yeah, this is a tighter end game than I thought at one point when we had got everything burnt before he got off that. Um, oh wait, I'm going to be at minus defense. Going faster. Fuck, we die. We 100% die. But he's taking massive recoil, which is great news. Um, we 100% die because I'm not fucking... Mm. <laughs> I thought I was slower than him. Alright, well, that confirms one thing, which is that if he's Choice Scarf, he's Choice Scarf Adamant. Um, he's Choice Scarf Adamant if he's Choice Scarf. So, obviously, we have to go Lancaster. Um... Diggersby, Choice Scarf, Wild Charge won't do too much to me, so I can, um, I can, uh, is he Choice though? Because if he's not Choice, no, I have to CC, I don't want to CC, we could lose if I get this wrong, fucking hell. Um, I'm going to Stone Edge. Yeah, because we basically just force... I wanted to SD really badly, but then if I miss, like, we're in a bad spot. So, we're basically going to force the Mashana to click Recover, which then means we can go into um, the other boy for free. Yeah, good, we land it. So now we can go into the Arachnid for... Oh my god, never mind, we just crit through. Basically, what that would have meant is that if I had gone into Arachnid, um, he would have had to click Moonlight on my Arachnid switch. And then Leash Life guaranteed a KO, and we won the game from there. He couldn't; he didn't have any ways to outplay that. Um, now, obviously, we crit, so it didn't matter. Um, if he'd psychic into the Arachnid, he would have taken another turn of Burn Chip, and uh, I could have come back in with my Diggers B and tried to land another Stone Edge, frankly. Uh, and he would have been in range without the crit after another round of Burn Chip, I'm certain. So, it would literally have just come down to landing another Stone Edge if we hadn't got the crit. Maybe that's if he attacked on my switch into the Araquanid, but as I say, I think he I think he had some moonlight on the on the Stone Edge miss, probably. Ah Maybe he didn't. Either way, it, it, it still would have been close. Um so I'm just gonna CC here. He can't KO me with, with quick attack or anything, so uh, we're in a good spot to just click close combat here, and we should pick up our second W of the season, which is nice considering it's only our second W of the season come week six. So he forced us into a tough end game there. I was like mid-game when around the own time that Mandibus went down, I thought we were in a good position. I thought Toxtricity had done enough work to really seal up that game earlier for us. But my man Goki Gamer, he, he pushed us back. He pushed us back for sure. But we got there. We got there in the end. Your Bone and Bovines moved to a 3-2 and two record because we haven't played week five yet. So, um, you guys will already have seen week five. We'll either be three and three now, and if we win our final game, we might make playoffs at four and three. Um, if I lost to Uzi, then this game was an exhibition game anyway. I'm kind of treating it that way just because I want to treat all the remaining games, including the one against Uzi, as exhibition games, just as a bit of fun, friendly matches against friends. So, GG to my Mangoki Gamer. I really enjoyed that one. We brought some we brought some heat and it was fun. And we actually had to think at the end. We actually had to do some some positioning because uh, he, he fucking pushed us back, man. That was tough. That was really tough. Um, so you got the both, best of both worlds, some heat and some positioning there. Uh, regardless, thank you guys so much for loafing around with me. And I'll catch you again next time.